Hello, a day with Caleb. You might hear some bags down here. We went to Walmart, and this isn't the great Walmart in uh, Tifton, where they had hardly any music, and I could film whatever I want. We are back in Macon Walmart, uh, which has blaring music. I don't know if it's just the one... If you're familiar with Macon, uh, the one on Zebulon, right where the the movie section is, just blares music. I don't know if it's like a manager decision, like location to location. Uh, but anyway, I was going to film in there, but I'm like, you know, you have to time it out. You have to wait like five minutes to film 30 seconds or less. Well, you saw the previous one before Tifton, we had the struggle. The struggle was real. So I just decided to get what we were gonna get and come out and uh, film a pickups video because we have gone inside uh, pretty good this year. We still have pickups videos from Amazon, eBay, stuff like that. But for the most part, we've gone in goodwill, even though they have an issue <laughs> with music too. We've gone into Walmarts. We've gone into the stores. So I really wasn't planning on picking anything up, honestly. We were just in there killing town. To, uh, we're gonna go see a movie. Uh, but when this movie releases, it will probably already be out on physical media. But Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania, we're going to see that in a little bit. So just killing some time. Went over to the complete series section. There were a few things. Uh, then went to the anime, and that's where we. We found our first uh, bit of uh, movies to pick up. So, uh, if you've been on this channel for a long time, you know that I have the original run of Dragon Ball, the series. Uh, is it seasons 1 to 7, I believe? Or 1 to 9 of the original Dragon Ball. Then Dragon Ball Z, I think that's seasons one to seven. Comment down below if I'm wrong. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've watched. I need to go and once I get all the Dragon Balls, which is a big ask, but once I get all the seasons and movies, I can go through chronologically and watch all of them. That would be cool. But I didn't have this. Uh, Dragon Ball GT, the complete series. This has 64 episodes. So I want to say this was right after Dragon Ball Z. And then after GT, it is super. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about that. I'm not as familiar with Dragon Ball as some of the other shows, but I'm pretty sure this came directly after Dragon Ball Z. Uh, and it's a shame that this only lasted 64 episodes, whereas the other three series lasted seven or more seasons. And... I think directly after this Dragon Ball Super, it lasted 10 seasons, which I think is the most of any Dragon Ball series. So we got that. That uh, was a good deal. I looked online just to compare because they had Dragon Ball Super seasons on Blu-ray for 30 uh, it was a two-pack, so every two seasons it was like $34, which is a little high for, <laughs> for me. I found that on eBay, which will be in another pickups video, uh, for $27 for all ten seasons in a DVD box set. So I, I 
got that, so we'll see that in a later video. Then they had uh, Dragon Ball Z, the movie collection. We have collection, collection one and collection two. Collection one, look at that artwork. I love the Dragon Ball Z artwork. Collection one comes with Dead Zone, World's Strongest, Tree of Might, Lord Slug, and Cooler's Revenge. I do have Cooler's Revenge, but it's a loose disc. So I'll just probably toss that because that disc is very scratched. Usually I try to save film if it's savable, but if I have a disc that's completely scratched, there's no sense in putting that back out into the world, uh, you know. So that's where I draw the line. If it's mint or pretty decent, I'll I'll donate it to to Goodwill. But this is collection one. Then Collection 2 comes with Return of Cooler, Super Android 13, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan, and Bojack Unbound. And Bro uh, Broly, they actually did another movie on Broly for Dragon Ball Super, which I need to get as well. And then I'm waiting for them to release Dragon Ball Super Super Heroes. Uh, I think that release it probably when this video comes out, it'll be close to being released. So we're getting close to getting all the Dragon Ball Zs. I still have a few movies to get. Uh, and I think one other thing that will complete my Dragon Ball. If I started Pokemon, that would that would be hard to get all those series. I mean, I'm just thinking, it seems like Dave picks up, every once in a while, he picks up some series from Pokemon, and it just goes on and on, uh, catch them all. But Dragon Ball Z, you can... I think it's safe to say we can get the whole series of that. Then I went over to the, they have a uh, Nintendo Switch section and they have like a clearance rack where they kind of dump all their clearance games. And I found a few that I've been wanting kind of on the radar and I've been wanting to get some more Switch games. I actually have some on hold from Pamela from the Video Game Movie Dome. Uh, maybe soon we'll set her up and uh, we'll do a pickups video on that. Excuse me. But these, I've been wanting to try, you know, the price was right. So Jumanji, the video game, and... Uh, both movies I've really enjoyed. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and Jumanji, The Next Level. Because it's kind of a legacy sequel. They kind of talk about uh, Robin Williams' character, but they also kind of move in, uh, you know, in, in not a new direction. It kind of keeps the legacy but it kind of keep makes it fresh at the same time so looking forward to getting that or playing that i have it <laughs> then assassin's creed the rebel collection this is assassin's creed 4 black flag assassin's creed rogue so i have a black flag on ps3 in the there's like two three packs with the games but i didn't have rogue so i figured for the price i would get two games for assassin's creed on the switch and at first i picked this up and there was one where it had black flag digital download only not the physical game 
which is okay. I have digital games on the Switch, but this one has both of them in, on the cartridge, which is good. Then M MX versus ATV All Out. And I love me some ATV games. My favorite ATV is ATV2, I believe, uh, on the GameCube. And they have these obstacle courses where you have to take your ATV across bridge, like leaning bridges and stuff like that. Super hard. And the Italian job is great on the GameCube as well, but decided to add an ATV game to the Switch. And then Sonic Mania, and it, it doesn't say, but it looks like there's the Sonic 2 on here. Uh, we'll plug it in the Switch and see. It's either Sonic 2 or it's, uh, they pay homage to it, I guess. But I had to pick that up. And then uh, we went over to the uh, the new releases, and I did get this. Uh, you might remember recently I got the first and second dentist on VHS. The first one was Sun, but this collection is so neat. Vestron Video Collection Series. Look at that artwork. They do some of the coolest artwork. And it has both of them on Blu-ray. I'll still keep the VHS, both of them. Because the first one signed by Corbin Burnson. So, you know, you can't get rid of that. Plus the second one. A little nostalgia. I try to keep anything from my childhood that I remember distinctively on VHS. And that... Uh, I remember very fondly because it freaked me out so much. And then there was a, a discount, kind of the bargain bin, uh, Black Friday with my man, uh, Bruce Campbell. And this looks very much like Evil Dead-ish. <laughs> it's like they did an Evil Dead movie without doing an Evil Dead movie. They're doing a uh, kind of a soft reboot of Evil Dead, right? It's called Evil Dead Rise, I believe, or something like that. Comment down below what that is. Then Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Now, some of you might really hate this movie, and I get that. There, there are some elements that are not, not good, but in this movie. Dane DeHaan and uh, Cara Delevingne, Delevingne, yeah, are great. There's some elements that don't work, maybe, sure, but I love this artwork, and the steelbooks were only $5. They did have Django Unchained, but I already had that on steelbook. And I believe uh, the only thing I have a physical copy is a loose disc blu-ray so this is kind of an upgrade anyway for five bucks so that was all of our walmart adventures i hope you enjoyed like subscribe share with a movie lover until next time guys keep collecting